Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here I'll be doing a demonstration on how to replace the fuel filter on your first gen Toyota Tacoma. This truck I am working with here today is a 2001 4x4 model equipped with a 3.4 liter V6 and a similar procedure also applies to the Toyota 4Runner as well. This video is sponsored by Auto Parts Way. They have supplied me with the fuel filter in order to produce this video. A link to the fuel filter will be included in the description below. First I'll start by removing the electronic fuel injection EFI for short relay which is located under the hood in the distribution box behind the battery on the driver's side. It will be labeled on top of the cover with EFI then pull it out from its location. Turn the engine over as if you were starting the vehicle to ensure you have pulled the right relay. This will also help bleed any pressure in the fuel system and reduce the chance of fuel spraying out when we disconnect the fittings for the fuel filter. Going under the truck, this is a 4x4 model so we don't need to elevate it. If you are working with a two-wheel drive model then you may need to jack up the one side. Also if you are working on an asphalt driveway, it would be best to lay something down to prevent any gasoline from dripping on the driveway. Gasoline will soften and eat away asphalt. The filter is roughly under the driver's side floor pan. For this truck, it's right next to the transfer case. A 3 quarter inch wrench is needed for the fuel filter and a 9 16 inch wrench is needed for the line fitting. Once the fitting has been removed to some extent, fuel will run out, so have a drain pan handy as well. Do the same for the other side, again using the same wrenches. A line wrench is best as it reduces the chance of the fitting being stripped, especially if it is excessively tight or seized. A plugged or dirty fuel filter can cause hard starting, lose engine performance, poor fuel economy, idling issues, and in a serious situation not allow the engine to start. As a general interval, the fuel filter should be replaced at every 40,000 kilometers or 25,000 miles. Once the lines have been disconnected, use a 10 millimeter wrench to remove the bolt from the filter clamp. If it is seized or the bolt is binding, loosen and then tighten. This will work the bolt back and forth to remove any debris in the threads. Lubricating oil can also be used as well. Open up the clamp slightly, then you'll need to flex the lines to get the filter removed. Careful, there is still fuel inside the filter so dump out the remaining in the drain pan. Compare the old and new filters to ensure they are the same. As mentioned earlier, Auto Parts Way has supplied me with the filter in order to produce this replacement. Links to this product will be included in the description below, both for the Canadian and American sites. Directional markings should be on the new filter, such as an in stamp and a flow arrow, like this filter has. The arrow should be pointing towards the front of the truck, and the in side is coming from the fuel tank. Install the new filter in place. I started with threading on the one fitting first. While it's not fully tightened just yet, install the other fitting. Push the filter into place. The lines may have bent slightly during the removal process and you may need a little extra force to assist it into position. When the filter clamp was open, this may make it a little hard to put back together. So use interlocking pliers to pull the clamp together and then thread the bolt into place. Use a wrench to tighten up the clamp bolt. And finally tighten both fittings with the two wrenches. To finish up, reinstall the relay removed earlier from the EFI system. Then operate the key a couple times to allow the pump to build up to pressure. Check for any leaks. Then start the engine. This may take a little longer when trying to start the engine as the air needs to be bled from the fuel system. Once the truck is running, inspect the fuel filter for any leaks again. If a leak is found, you may need to either reset the fuel filter or tighten the fitting slightly more. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to follow my social media pages such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep up to date with my latest projects. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching.